Hey guys, this is Brayden for gshelper.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a full circle timer in GameSound. Um, credit to Gyroscope on the forums who actually came up with this method and is allowing me to create a video tutorial uh, on this. Um, he actually posted this template uh, for somebody who was having uh, this problem on the forums and um, they still wanted me to do a video tutorial for it so I asked him if it would be okay if I use his project and he agreed so let's dive into it we need to create one attribute and we're gonna call this go timer I've already made it right here it's an integer uh, you can leave it at zero alright next we are going to uh, well, let me just say this. These graphics came from his template, um, and pretty much all it is is a circle that's filled in, and then a half circle, and then a different half circle with like a yellow ring around it, just so you can see the the timer moving. Um, so you can, I think this will be available to download on gshelper.com, so you can have access to these. Alright, so we're going to drag the full circle onto the scene, and we need to make sure that it's lined up right in the center right there. Okay, now we need to actually drag one of these on, but we need to change the rotation of this to 180, so it's flipped around. Alright, and we're going to put this right in the middle, right there. Alright, now the thing about this, this is a this is a uh, layer trick. Um, this whole thing is a layer trick. Um, you might think that we're just like reducing the width and height of an actor, but we're not. It's just a layer trick, and it's really cool how Gyroscope came up with this. Um, so we're going to drag this on. We're going to make sure that it's right in the middle. All right, and we'll need to drag another one on in a minute. But first, let's go into the half circle. That's black here, uh, and we need to create a self attribute, and we're going to name. It's going to be an integer, and we're going to name it uh, which part. All right. Now we need to create a rule, and we need to say when go timer is one, and I'll explain this in a minute. When go timer is one, and when attribute self which part is one, we need to interpolate self rotation to zero and the duration uh, we're gonna set this to five because we want this to be a 10 second countdown now if you wanted this to be a one minute countdown you would change this to the duration to be 30 because we're gonna have two parts so each is is gonna be half of the timer so uh, 30 seconds is half of a minute so um, just divide your time by two and uh, put that in there so this is going to be a 10 second countdown so I'm going to put 5 self.rotation is 0 alright now we need to throw in a timer and we're going to say after 5 seconds run to completion change attribute game dot go timer to 2 and then we're going to just put in a destroy behavior right underneath that okay now before I go any farther you're probably wondering what go timer is I've created a trigger actor right here and I've just created a simple rule it's called uh, when, when touch is pressed it's just changing go timer to one and we just do this so that when we preview the project um, when we preview it it doesn't it doesn't start the timer right away we can press a button and then it'll start so it's just a trigger um, so we change that to one now we're gonna name this rule uh, go timer one now we're going to duplicate this and we're gonna rename this to go timer 2 and we're gonna say uh, we're gonna change this to go timer when it equals 2 and when which part equals 2 and we're gonna change self dot rotation to 180 duration 5 and after 5 seconds we're gonna change go timer back to 0 and we're gonna get rid of this destroy behavior alright um, now we need to drag on this half circle and we need to make sure again that it's in the center and then we're gonna double click on this and we're gonna change this which part and this is gonna be the second part okay 
So now, if you look at the layers, we have our half circle, that yellow one, underneath the black half circle, okay? Now, we need to drag on another half circle, and we need to make sure that it's in the middle. All right, so now this, this new yellow half circle is above this black half circle, all right? And then we're gonna drag another black half circle onto the scene, but we need to change the rotation to 180 so that it's flipped around on the other side. And then we need to change which part to one. Now we just need to drag this onto the scene right in the middle, right there. So here's a quick look at the, uh, the layers here. We have our full circle on the bottom. We have one half circle. It's the left half of that yellow circle, uh, second down here. And then we have the black half circle. And then another yellow half circle, which is the right half. And then we have the right half of the black uh, circle right here on the top. Now we can drag on this trigger and we'll go ahead and click preview. So when we tap the, the green button, the actor, the first part starts to rotate and it, oops, that's an issue. We need to fix that really quick. Okay, uh, if you don't know about this, instead of moving all of the actors away since they're layered on top of each other, if you just go into the layers and double click this, uh, we can go ahead, oh, we don't need to do that, <laughs> whoops, we just need to change the go timer and we need to do negative 180. Now when we click preview, you'll see that it finishes up here. Alright, now let me explain what, what's happening here. This half right here is rotating this way when we press this, this green button. When it gets to the halfway point, its rotation is zero. When it gets there, it's destroying, but it looks like it's picking up from, this actor is picking up. Once it gets right here, boom, it changes that attribute, and the second actor receives that event, and it starts to, to rotate this way, this way. Now, this is why I said it's the layer trick. What's really happening, let me show you one more time. The second actor is actually rotating underneath this yellow actor, so you can't see it. It's, it's underneath this one. So that's why it, it does that, it looks like that. It's rotating this way, and it's underneath this actor right now, right on this half. So if we, let me do that one more time. That's the magic of it, the, the layer trick here. It destroys, boom, this actor right now is rotating under this, and when it gets to the end, it stops, and you'll see that your timer is now complete. And you can hook this timer up, um, you know, in an attribute, and you can trigger something in your game, uh, the game over, or whatever you need to do. But um, I just thought I'd show you. I noticed that was a pixel off. Show you one more time. It picks up. Rotates under this, because it's under that layer and then it completes. So, that is how you create a full circle timer and like I said, um, full credit to Gyroscope on the forums who came up with this and I hope you guys, it helps you guys out and uh, we'll see you in the next video.